breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more Americans into virtual lockdown. Fear on the front lines as the wave of sickness appears to be following the grim predictions. Residents now being ordered to stay indoors. Non-essential businesses told to close. Sometimes I think back and I say, what happened? Where did 2020 go? We were working so hard that we didn't even think of the years, the months, the fun that we had before. When is it going to be over? Like, this station is done. There's nobody left. Like, who else is going to get sick from here? When is it going to be done? And you just take a deep breath. And especially as the leadership, like, you can't break down. I think I haven't cried about the pandemic until <laughs> right now, but, um, you don't have the luxury of panicking. You have to keep moving. There are times when I think after 40 years, it felt like we lost so much and we went back to like starting all over again. Dealing with this pandemic has required an endurance that I think we just really didn't recognize. And I think it's hard to move forward until you take a few steps back. this resident and we were watching the news. They were talking about long-term care and she was kind of yelling towards the TV and she was saying, don't they know that we're dying in here? She was like, we're dying of broken heart syndrome. We need society's support. The people we take care of here, they need us to protect them. We're still in it and what we went through at the height of it, our staff needs to be recognized. They need to be supported. Even now as I walk, I see our scars, right? I see where the ceiling is ripped off because the barriers came down. We've gone to hell and back together, you guys. We can overcome anything. It's a good feeling to be stronger, to be faster, to be so much more solid than we ever were before. But I think that's the beauty of it.